We founded the Chiapas Human Rights Practicum here at DePaul in uh, 1999. Uh, this followed a visit that I made as part of a delegation to Chiapas in 1994 to investigate the conflict that had erupted in January between the Zapatistas and the government. And I thought it would be a good idea to get students involved in an area of the world where the human rights violations are so obvious and so evident and where the oppression of the majority of the people, in the case of Chiapas, I'm talking about the indigenous people, and where the oppression of the majority of the people is also so very obvious. Um, and I did that uh, because I was hoping that our students, our DePaul law students, many of whom have never seen poverty before up close, could experience uh, the conditions in Chiapas, could listen to the Chiapaneco people telling them about what it's like uh, to live through uh, the human rights abuses in Chiapas. And my hope was is that we would not only be able to help the Chiapaneco people, but also to transform the lives of the DePaul law students who would go there. And so, uh, since 1999, uh, we've been taking DePaul law students to Chiapas. Some of them only stay for a short time. Those who speak Spanish fluently stay for the entire summer, and they work in legal rights offices, uh, human rights offices. And uh, we've been doing this now. This is our 11th year that we've been taking people uh, to Chiapas. I think it's the only Chiapas program in any American law school, and I think that DePaul University is the only uh, university in the country that has two Chiapas programs because of the uh, program run by Professor Tavanti in the uh, School for Public Service.